Unlikely. See how close? I told you I'm close. And favorable. It's, oh, man. Oh, do I want to go all in on this? He does have both of his AA guns, so he gets to shoot at me twice. Like, he gets to shoot at me for every one of my planes. I <laughs> I don't normally do this. I, I, I love my planes so much, but it's favorable. I think I have to take this chance here. Greetings and good day. We are going for our first access recordings here at Chimo Chills, as you can see. I am currently ranked 236. I have peaked at about 100 in the gold ranking. Let's get going. I have a game already prepared. Let's find out. That's how my, my list normally looks. Normally I have about six go games going at the same time. And between Anywhere between two and six is typically what I like to have up. So, how was the Russian opening? Soviet Russia won, took the territory, lost six infantry. Oh, yes. And then Ukraine. Attacker lost three infantry, one arty, and all three of his tanks. Oh, that is very good. That is a very, very good opener. Wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. It's almost tempting to go with the Navy opening. Go with the naval opening, see if I can uh, hit UK, but I'm, I'm going to go with my, my tried, tested, and true. I love getting me a bomber to play with, and then the 7 and 2. And the, the bomber is just big because you can keep pressure on his transports wherever he goes, and every once in a while you pick off one of his transports. He doesn't notice the bomber, and then boom, that's a mine, thank you. Okay, so that's our purchase fairly standard opening you, you obviously can make adjustments as you do but typically this is your safe opening if you do have the bomber in ukraine you can chance it going for egypt i obviously don't have the bomber in ukraine so i'm not gonna chance it going for egypt so his counter punch to what he can hit into Karelia is five lights yeah no nope, seven seven lights so we have three two and two Plus three tanks, plus... So that's 12 total he can hit back with. Well, I would be able to put six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Plus two. It would be a ri big risk on his part if he took the attack. I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him make that risk. If he wants to do it, that's on him to do so. I'll go all in into Leningrad. Okay, so we're in Transjordan and finally let's go one, two, two, one, one. It's a little tempting to To split the subs up and maybe go for these either one of them i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it let's go ahead and go for the the british fleet because i think if you win i know technically you're going for two transports if you attack the american one only for the british but I think if you can successfully get rid of this British fleet, it actually pays off better, in, in my opinion. And that's all we're going for. It always shows the Transjordan battle as a as a risky one, because it doesn't it, it doesn't assume that you're going to get your ground troops landed. It doesn't assume the the naval battle is what I should say. Not good. Not good. Hit. Okay, come on. Over for 3. This is a little risky. Okay. At least we got the hit. And he took out my freaking... That's frustrating. Well, I guess that's the trade-off. I, I, I had a... Russia had a bad attack on Ukraine. I had a bad attack in the Mediterranean. So be it. The RNGesus gods are evening off... The... They're evening off reality. So be it. We're going to win here. All right. Nice and quick. 
Now let me know, should I turn off the, the roll animations? Should I leave them on? I don't know, it just seems... I like leaving them on, but I get it. For recordings, it might be faster. I've only watched one other content producer make uh, Access and Allies, and he he did not have the rolls on. That's why, oh, two for two. Hey, one rounded him. That's pretty rare that you one round him like that. No problem. I'm gonna go and leave the one sub intact. The reason, if I successfully take out this other destroyer, he won't be able to attack the sub. You'll see. This destroyer right here. If that guy is gone, he won't have any other way of forcing that sub to, to surface. And he will live to see another day. Okay, round number two. Yeah, good, good. We at least got the destroyer. Even if, even if he hits me here, that's okay. Obviously, I would have rather taken his transport. It would be a seven IPC, but... I've taken away the counterattack. Very, very good. All right, what we do here is I'm going to put one and then grab my anti-aircraft gun. That way, if he wants to use his fighters to come into Corellia, he's going to have to risk it for the biscuit, okay? You are going to have to risk it all, son. Let's go one infantry into Ukraine. Another one, my boys. Everyone moving around, as you do. This is how you do. And make a move on the fool when we up in the club. Uh, let's keep going. I like to leave one tank in France. And then stack up in in France. We'll stack my other unit in France. Because sometimes you have them just get... Lose their minds and try to invade France. Uh, when it succeeds, it's a heartbreaker. So you want to make sure that they, they don't succeed. That if they attempt to do that, they, they feel the pain. They are punished for it. They are punished for the lack of vision. Now we want... Maybe even all three of them north. You can come uh, that way as well. Let's go one more fighter south, and then all of these boys can stack up. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just stack up in France. I think that's fine. Okay, that is round one of our cam Axis campaign. Oh, we have to place. Placements, it's key. The likelihood of this um, transport still existing is, is zero to none. They, he's going to take out this transport. So I don't actually have to place units in Italy at all. <laughs> so everyone will go in Greater Germany. Just seeing, is there any threat to... Let's put the bomber down in Italy, because it has slightly better range if his transports come down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, it's the same. It's exactly the same. The only better range I would have is against a British transport down here. As opposed to up in the north. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. No, I'll be able to land anywhere, regardless of where I place that bomber. Okay, we can stay in Italy. I am okay with that round to <laughs> round one. I will see you for Japan, and we're back for Japan. What occurred here? Now, given the pretty good start of Germany, if I was the UK, I would be very aggressive. Let's let's find out what he did. Took out my transport to be expected. Another transport down. Took out those two. Lost one. Okay, that's good for me. Destroyed my destroyer. Lost his carrier. Okay, that's to be expected. That's prop. That's usually what I do. I usually attack into season sixty-one. And then in Italy. What? What? What bomber could he reach? This one? Hold on. One, two, th one, two, th <laughs> I can't believe that. 
I totally left my bomber out there for him to just come and pick off and destroy. Like a like a friggin' doofus. And he lost! <laughs> I can't believe he, my, my bomber beat his bomber! I rolled a one, he missed on a four! Oh man, what a bad st <laughs> I feel a little bad for him now. I would be so mad at that. Oh, whoopsie daisy. And I, I, I would deserve to lose my bomber there. That would have been, that's totally my fault. I'm not going to make that mistake ever again. I'm certainly not going to record myself making that mistake again. Wow, that's great. Okay. So with that in mind, we're definitely going to go with a, a fairly standard opener for myself. It's um, one transport, one destroyer, and an industrial complex. He did leave the one army there. Okay. Okay with that. Let's get our tank up there. Let's get you there. Now I am I do like doing Pearl Harbor. Oop, nope, that's not right. Let's try that again. Two three and four. So that's the five into Pearl Harbor. Should show favorable, yep. Good. And we're not moving our aircraft carrier in. We want to keep that. The valuable, valuable. We want it alive and intact. I definitely want his transport. Then this other fighter can go... So this is one, two, three, and he can land wherever. So you go help out with Yunnan. All of these boys. Same deal. Uh, as for this cruiser, the cruiser's got to be dealt with still. And he has a fighter here that can hit whatever goes there. This aircraft carrier is going to have to stay in C Zone 36 so this fighter can land in it. Then I need to defend from a three fighter onslaught potentially. And no bomber because I took out his bomber. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. So do, 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 do. let's do maybe this carrier and this battleship will end up here. I'll land two planes on it. We're safe from the fighters attacking. And then I could just use the battleship and you here. That's that's enough. That's enough. The battleship can absorb one hit. And then if need be, if all goes to hell, I'll lose the destroyer. Then we can afford to use you. Let's use you on Yunnan. And that is all of my units in, employed. All right, let's go. Apology if this takes a little bit longer. I am obviously recording myself. I don't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> like you play and you look back and you see the mistakes you make. You're like, oh, you get frustrated at yourself. Maybe it's tired. You're playing at night or whatever. When you're recording it, <laughs> you get to see it back like a month later. And it reminds you. Okay, we got two rounds with no hits. There we go. The infantry are doing the job. I could have left the tank at home. He didn't get hit though. Lucky for me. Unlucky for him, lucky for me. So the big gamble of this opening moves would be the, the Pearl Harbor attack. Like these should be... I mean, they're not sure bets. They could do some serious damage on me. Even if he takes out two infantry here, that's a great opener. Yeah, in, in Onway. I'm, I'm always happy. When you have rando infantry out there and he takes out one, one for one each time, perfect. Perfect. But Pearl Harbor, on the other hand, yeah, this is this is the actual where I could lose. Okay, he missed his sub. I missed mine. One. Uh, okay, two is is not terrible. It's not terrible. Yes, very good. So it is important. You have to destroy the one fighter that has no movement. 
Very important. Or else you're stuck moving your aircraft carrier in and it gets sacrificed next turn. And nobody got time for that. Missing, missing. Come on, get two hits. Perfect. Come on. We'll sub to counterattack. And we'll let him take my... Nope, he has to take the other uh, cruiser. He can't do this up. That's fine. Alright, so I, I'd say that's a successful Pearl Harbor. Uh, I can get take both my planes and land them in Wake Island or down here in the Solomons. And uh, yeah, I destroyed the Navy. So that's, it gives me more time. That's what you want with Japan. You just want more time to, uh, to take over Asia. And it looks like I got it. it looks like I got it. Three for three. Alright, my boys are handling it. I didn't realize I had two fighters in there. That was an overkill battle. And then finally, as long as nothing crazy happens, this is a good opening round. Like, for Germany and Japan. Cross your fingers. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Insane things could happen. We miss, miss, he hits. We miss, miss, he hits. We miss, miss, he hits again. You know? You're like, ah, oh, you just... You don't know. You don't know what RNGs is going to throw into you. What kind of a monkey wrench is going to toss your way. Non-combat. Okay. You land there. You land there. 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 We need at least one of those planes to land. You can go here. Malawa. My little friend. Don't forget your little friend in Malawa. Move him up. Don't want him to feel left out. Transport is fine because none of his planes can reach me. And then I'm going to land these boys in Wake Island. Why you want to go to Wake Island, in this case especially, is if you land in the Solomons, he could turn around with his two infantry and the cruiser and potentially take you out. And that would make us cry. That would definitely make us cry. Yeah, that's our, uh, that's our opening movement. And then, okay, so for industrial complex, I like to go French Indochina. Secondary, you obviously can go Kwangtung, Kingsu, or Manchuria, but that is my preferred. I can make two tanks, and they can attack India the next, the very next turn. So that's that's my thought on that. Finally, let's do a destroyer, and there is no. If there was an air force, if you had screwed up and didn't notice like a, a plane or whatever, you'd want to separate your transports out. So he can only take one. As it is, he cannot get me regardless. One, two, three, four, five. No. He has no access regardless. But I, I like to do that as a good habit. Just spread out the target so it's not so lucrative for him to just roll the dice and go all in on it. Like like, like he did against my bomber and lost. I'll see you back for Germany, guys. We're back in as Germany. How are we doing as the Third Reich? Let's take a peek. So, Kwangtung, Soviet Union attack down into Ukraine, SSR, you know, units lost, and Belarus, one unit lost. Acceptable. Acceptable and a fairly standard. He didn't roll the dice on attempting to attack Karelia. I don't know. I think it would have been advantage me, so had he, you know what I mean? Well, we would have just had to see. Oh, yeah, and he attacked my bomber. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. I'll never make that mistake again. Never leave a bomber without two infantry with him. I mean, you might luck out and just destroy the enemy's bomber like I did, but you can't bet on that. You can't bank on that. And we have all six of our fighters. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to go... There's an argument that at first I should just be stacking up artillery and infantry. And then next turn switch over and start getting tanks as well. 13 puts two. And then one extra in Italy. Or we do that. And then I can deploy them all in Germany and Corellia. Okay, I like it. Uh, look at them. Look at them all hiding from my sub. Cowards. Cowards. <laughs> you are weak cowards, I say. I could go all in on Egypt here, but like, 
I'm not likely to hold it. These fighters can reach. So we're, we're, we're better off just sending the one in. Trying to bait him to send his whole group. And then we could go in. I don't know. Or just say, screw it. Because if he uses all of his fighters over here, then he's not using them against Japan. And I don't have any more boats to drop off in the area. Yeah, okay. And that will also allow me to get my planes out of there. And use them back on mainland proper. Because we have four going at one already. I can use both these planes on Ukraine. We're also going to send two to Belarus. Belarus? White Russia? Let's get... I don't know. Do we need three infantry? Definitely two into White Russia. You know, let's go three. Let's, let's ensure that we win that battle. And finally... My bomber... <laughs> My bomber, that should not exist. It shouldn't be here right now. It's the little bomber that could. Um, we go... One, two... We could reach Archangel. And there would be two movements left. So I'd have to land in Corellia. Which is okay. I'm landing two planes in Corellia already. Okay. Okay. Done. And then that'll allow me just to send one unit out to Archangel. Okay, we're good with this. Strong, strong, strong. From a, from a fairly strong uh, round one, let's see how round two goes. Oh, well, these are the sure bets. I roll five for five. When you need a five for five, you'll never roll it, guys. <laughs> you'll never roll it. When you could care less, you'll get it every third or fourth time. I know those odds are bubkiss, but... Uh, this is Ukraine SR. That's good. Perfect. One round of them. Doesn't matter if he hits two. Doesn't even matter. Obviously, you want more standing troops there, but... Victory! Finally, Belarusia. White Russia. I guess bellow means white. And we got him. The infantry did it for us. We didn't even need the planes. Could have sent him somewhere else. That was three for three with only... No, two units. I've lost two units. Pretty good, considering what you're taking out. We could take this. <laughs> I didn't even need my bomber. Didn't even need my bomber. Why'd I buy a bomber? Oh, yeah, because it killed his bomber. <laughs> now I remember. That was actually a good across the board. We're, we're talking two... Two solid rounds of uh, Axis and Allies thus far. So you land in Karelia. Let's load up the boys. You're going to have to land there too. Everyone on over. Okay, this is important. I need to make sure I don't leave France weak enough to be invaded. So the UK, it's only two and then four. I need to move at least four more over there. That gives me six, seven grounds, two anti-aircraft, and two fighters. It's not impossible on his part, but that would be a stupid attack on his part. I can't imagine he would be so reckless, but hey, you never know. Um, you guys could all go eastwards. Finally, our sub. Nowhere else to really go, but just fall back one. Keep the pressure on him. Those two are fine. You've all landed him. Yeah, all right. And then deployment. So it's pretty fairly standard. I like to put one artillery. Though I need artillery up here. Let's just go two artillery at the front line. Even better. And then we have exactly 10 more units to, to drop. Perfect. And that 
is a very solid round two for Germany. Checking our attack power. Yes! This early to have that kind of an advantage. He needs to take some risks. If I was playing as the Allies right now, I would be thinking, I have to take risks wherever. Wherever it is, it's, it's up to him. Whether he wants to go... Well, he can't go all in on Japan. So he'd, he'd have to risk it on attacking up here in the north which he had his chance now he's lost it so let's let's keep this pressure on and uh win our first campaign here for axis axis and allies some more japan empire of japan what do we have uk your combat was in egypt you won you destroyed everything you only lost one yeah whatever we were we we're okay with that that was a uh that was a predestined loss <laughs> Abandoning North Africa was a mistake. Don't need my resources going there. Okay. Oh, U.S. is going all in on Germany. Okay. All right. So that gives us a, a lot of breathing space as, as Japan. And he has no fighters or bombers over here at all. All right. So, so for French Indochina, first, usually I, I start with an infantry artillery. I don't usually go straight to two tanks. And then I already have two transports. Oh, and he brought the one up to the Soviet Far East. Hmm. So he has no fighters that could get me or bombers. As I know I stated that already, but... Why I'm saying that again is I can send a transport up here and I don't even have to... I don't need any military up there at all. If I chose. Now it would make sense to send a, a battleship up there as well. So I think I'm going to go one more transport. And then we will need... One, two, three, four... And then I could change one of my artilleries into a tank and just save the rest. Or I invest more. I get two more infantry and then I'm, I'm already ready to... Uh, no, but I, I'm not going to have the, the transport capacity. If I send all four of these guys down on these two transports, I'm making one more transport. Oh, actually, I could make two more transports, and I could grab one. And I could grab one from here, and I'd have two up here, and I would need four more. Yes, okay, so we can make one more transport. We're maximizing damage here. We're doing the best we can to maximize damage. So we want to avoid up here. We want to avoid this. He has his fighter, so he can he can attack back. So I would think something around the lines of I can just completely completely avoid this. That way he can't attack me at all. Yeah, that might be the play. And that allows me to move forward every unit if I want to. I don't even have to actually. Now that as I'm thinking this through. So I put four, five up here, we'd have six. And he could hit me with actually we're pretty safe. One, two, three. His fighters can reach. All four of his fighters. Hmm. But if I bring down four more units, it's uh it doesn't matter. Which I am tempted to do. So if I only bring two more down, we're fairly safe, and I could have one more up here. But then I don't have enough for next turn. No, I do want them all down. It'll just be a little bit slower to uh, actually getting out this way. Let's go two... So he doesn't get any crazy ideas of 
No, I don't even think he would, though, to be honest. But I think that's the uh, that's the play. Not even two to Yaku. I want to encourage him to, to do that counterattack. To do that two-on-one. And then, then I guarantee I get the Soviet Far East. Okay, we have our play. We know what we're doing. Now for the Navy. Ooh. I mean, that's a good trade for me. It's cost me six, and it costs him eight, and I know he can't hit me back. I know there is no possible way. My bomber can reach, yes. Fighter can't really reach anything. Sorry for the computer performance. I am rendering videos in the background right now. We'll use these two fighters here to ensure victory. How many did I send? I'm sending three already, plus two fighters. I think that's the play. That's, that's simple. We're not coming after that sub. I can't get it anyways. Strong and strong. All right, Jesus. Oh, no. This is a pretty easy one. We got overwhelming numbers and heavies. Two heavies to boot. Take your, take your loss. Or take your kill and get out of my sight. Yeah, so far, so good. He hasn't taken any big chances. And, and I... It... it as this game goes on, it, it becomes his responsibility to take chances. I don't need to. I can just keep doing what I'm doing and rolling forward. He, he got kills. He got his two kills. So you can't be upset about that. And this is the... See if they steal a kill. Come on. That's what you're here for. Bomber misses. Alright, we move this. And bomber. Yes. But even if he gets the sub at this point, which he didn't, yeah, that's a really good turn. That was a misplay on him. He should have placed that destroyer on the other <laughs> on the other ocean for sure. Absolute misplay. His loss, our benefit. Now you can come down here, help out potentially against Australia. And what did I say? Everyone's coming south. You and you. And Burma. All these guys forward. Whatever chance he had <laughs> to take Burma, it is now officially gone. The door is closed. Pool's closed. Pool is closed. And then two more boys here. Finally, the destroyer on down for the overwhelming numbers. This fighter's got to come. Oh, you land on the plane. Because I do want to land two fighters in Burma, at least. Yeah, so we'll just land three. I mean, he's not coming after my, my Navy. I'm not actually worried about that. I just want the overwhelming number. So if, if he even considers doing something crazy like that. Let's even drop one more. There we go. Again, he, he's the one who's going to have to take the risks. And if I'm shoring up every chance he has, well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I won't be able to be super aggressive for Germany. Now knowing that everything's on him. It's all eyes on Germany. Which is, I guess, how it happened in real life. We, uh, we thumped on Germany first, and then we thumped on... <laughs> and then the U.S. dropped a little... little, And that was the end of the war. Um, let's get two transports. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen this go. I'll be back for Germany. We are back. As the Deutschland, Germany, let us take our turn. What do we have? We have the U.S. to view. No combat from the U.S., so be it. And the USSR, Archangel. You took it back. No units lost. That's actually pretty good. He didn't... He didn't take back... Belarus or Ukraine or even try. Dude. <laughs> Put some effort in, okay? Put some freaking effort in. Okay, so just being realistic here, I'm not going to take that out. With a battleship coming, I'm definitely not going to risk the planes required to take it out. So so the Navy's gone. 
in terms of the North Sea. I guess I could try to rebuild down here, but no. It's it's got to be a pure focus on on Europe at this point. Okay, that's simple. That's simple. That's, that simplifies the the whole scenario. Because then we just build tanks. We need more tanks. Life would be a lot better if we had more tanks in it, okay? So that's what we're building. Six, two, and three. Let's go. Egypt, that's not happening. The Saab, I don't know. I'll just... <laughs> I guess I'll try to make a break for it down, uh, down south. Or hide them in the Baltic. Or hide them in four. That doesn't really matter. Now for schnitz and giggles... What if I threw everyone there? How does this actually view? What does the game calculator tell me my chances are? No, no, no. I would need like four or five more tanks. And we're, and we're looking good, but we're not quite there. That would be risky business, <laughs> to say the least. Risky, risky business. So... I guess it's just Caucasus or Archangel. Well, all of my planes, all, not all of them, all of them but two. These two cannot reach squat. But the other five can all hit both territories and land wherever I want. The point I'm, I'm trying to make is maybe I need to attack both. Maybe both is the correct answer. Let's go two into the Caucasus, two into Archangel. I think that's our move. I mean, I could, could put everything into Archangel. The question is, does he attack me? With that extra 7,000, he might. He might. I think this is my safer bet. I think this is the, the play. Let me just make sure I can't hit anything with my bomber first. No. Fighter we don't care about. Okay, so down to the Coxes. Let's go. Strong and strong. We know what it is. If they, if they hit two twos, it is... You, you don't take the territory. It's pretty It's pretty seldom you roll snake eyes, but rolling two twos, it happens all the freaking time. I don't know what it is. Well, I guess it's really, what, one in twelve rolls. Yeah, okay. So it's not all the freaking time, but one in twelve, you get it. That was good. Two kills, zero losses. How are we looking in Archangel? One, very good. Get another one. Yes, okay. So if he just gets one, I, it's a complete success round. Complete success round. Officially, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Uh, you be Ukraine. We'd like to keep the, the artillery safe if possible. Everyone up into Corellia. Yeah, I will just keep that artillery sitting there. They're fine. They're not hurting anyone there. They're not hurting anyone. Let them be. Let that artillery be. Now, what's really important here is what can they bring across? They can already drop eight and two fighters and one. Hmm. So I would need two more. Brings me to nine. Plus two. I think three is a, is a fairly safe deterrent. And then we'll stack everything else forward. Uh, so we would be, let's say, well, what am I sending here? Two and two. 
Let's go one more and two more to the north. We'll hide our little sub. Nice and safe and sound. And we'll fall back from Libya. Oh, we still got some uh, fighters to land. Actually, these ones I landed in Poland. Is there any reason I shouldn't land them in Arcane? Or Corellia, correction. Yeah, Corellia makes more sense. I'm not going to use them down in the Mediterranean. And one can go up into Corellia again. All right, that's our move. That was a good turn. That was a good turn. I didn't have to risk mass amounts, but I was still able to maintain my big chonky borders. I pushed on them. Key. And um, I didn't have bad losses. Tanks, 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 tanks. That was a good turn. Let's do our attack power check. We are 190 to their 162. Uh, the Empire of Japan. How do we stand? Great Britain. Did you make any big moves for me to look at? Libya. Both undefended territory. Safe bets. Safe bets. Safe but uh, effective bets. Let's say that. Moves. Not bets. Moves. Now, how did we leave the situation? Our bombers down here. Our fleet stacked up in French Indochina. I stacked up in Burma to make sure he wouldn't attempt the... The risky business counterattack. And we have four transports. With only four up here to actually move. So I can grab all four of these guys, or I can go on to like Western. Yeah, I think I'll move on Western USA. Or Australia, correction. And we have this sub trying to be sneaky boy. Snub, sub trying to be super sneaky boy. So I'll probably grab this off Philippines, bring it back. We'll attack out to Western Australia with... Ooh, he's got quite the Navy. Quite the or Navy, quite the fighter fleet there. Wowzers. So I'm going to have to keep my uh, my Navy back here. That that fighter fleet is is legit threat. It's a legitimate threat for sure. So we'll grab these boys, and we're going to need six more to transport. Let's go one, two, for French Indochina. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one fighter. Oh. So... We'll load you up, my man. You're coming to attack Western Australia. He's not in range either way, wherever I go. Don't want him going that. Oh, actually, no, I could come across to French Madagascar. I go that one. So one battleship south. One aircraft carrier south with it too. Bomber can't reach anything. Think he's gonna run? I'll, 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 I don't know. I don't know how it's set up. I don't remember. Did he have it set up where he runs? Probably. If he knows what he's doing, he does. We just step forward. Tank can come forward too. These boys are gonna have to run. And that's our turn. Okay. It's it's kind of silly. It says that I'm unlikely to win. If that battle occurs, I'm rolling. I'm hitting on a two. He's hitting on a one. So I should be two to one to win on that. I, I don't know. Maybe I just don't get math. But shoot, what's oh. I don't know if you noticed there. That was five rolls. Three of them heavies for me. Goose egg hits. No, no. Oh no. What did I just do? Record myself screwing up and post it for everyone to see. 
Oh, I'm not gonna edit that out. You'll get to see it. I fat. I I didn't fat finger that. I just didn't realize what I was doing. I was I was whining. I was complaining. Okay. Uh am I red right now? I don't. I'm not even gonna look to my side to see if I am. <sighs> yeah, he just runs away. I didn't even take the plot. At least I destroyed the two infantry, but. So wait a minute. This was a disaster. His fighters can now destroy this fleet. All eight of these can reach me. So what's the safest, what's the safest play here? Everyone piles up. He can't reach my ship, my uh, transports back here. He can't reach uh, C-Zone 61. And ne neither can his sub. And he doesn't have a bomber anywhere around. There's no American bomber up in Alaska. So that's the play. All Everything fighting has to go south. With the exception of one destroyer. Because I need to be able to handle his one sub. We can still do this. Come south. We'll move you forward. Man, it's a little risky that he's going to attack there, but there's there's nothing I can do about that. Like, I almost need to take my fighters down here to protect my fleet. And it's only... So, 4-4-4... Four, four, four. Two, 2 That's all I have over there. With two battleships that have two hits. And he could he could send all eight of his fighters. The alternative is I weaken Burma, though. I want to put one more fighter down here. And then everyone else uh, everyone else deploys to come in. Yeah, I didn't quite foresee the the risk there. But I don't even know what I could have done to mitigate it. I probably wouldn't have sent two two transports to go to Western Australia. But I could have grabbed the guy at Borneo and had three or four total. And then I would have guaranteed I won it. With the with the risk of those eight fighters, in hindsight I should have done that, but I mean kind of expected to win that battle. All right, come back. I mean, we're still we're still still doing well, but that just that keeps things that keeps me on my toes. I'll see you back as Germany. Oh no, we're so <laughs> we have to mobilize. That was a false false start or false stop. False stop, two yards. Don't collect a first down. Boop -ba -doo. Let's build you six up in there, and then a fighter. Ooh, the ball is in your court, Great Britain. You have you have some serious choices to make here. This this turn could actually determine a win or a loss. Honestly, I'm not even kidding. What he does, what Great Britain does now, will echo for eternity. I'll see you next time. Not a false ending. Load him back in as the Deutschland. It's my first recording of the day. I just woke up. If I look a little tired, <laughs> it's because I just woke up. But I am alive, and I am feeling alive. It is the long weekend. I feel great. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a good one as well. Um, okay. Let's just do a little review. What happened? What did you do? United States took Norway, and the Brits took Libya and Finland. Okay. It's 
a nice fleet you got up there. Four transports. <clears throat> Do the math. This is 20, 32, plus what, 24, so 56, uh, 76, 80, 96, uh, 101. Did I, did I do the cruiser? Did I include the cruiser? I think I included the cruiser. That'll be 101 IPC right here. Where I could throw... One. No, these fighters can't land because he got. Oh, okay, okay. So it would just be the one sub and the four fighters and the bomber. And he's rolling two fours in there. Oh, that's risky business. You're looking at a lot of fighters lost. If I could get all six of my fighters on that fight, I probably would take that. I would probably do that and, and, and eat the losses, but. With only four, I think the losses would be too much. I could potentially even lose the fight. Okay, so I'm going to abandon that thought from my mind. I wanted to entertain that before I did my purchasing. Because if I was going to do that, I'd be buying at least one fighter. At least one. But uh, no, we're going to stick strictly ground, which is the safest and, and more assured path to victory for the Deutschland. Um... So let's go two artillery up in Corellia. And two tanks and one less artillery. That would be 13. I could go two less and another tank. We're at 12. That fits us in Germany and Corellia. Already infantry. To All right, I like it. Let's go. Libya. Libya is an interesting risk. Only downside is that I'm stuck landing my planes in Africa, so they can't defend the coast of France. That's an interesting risk. My one infantry, two fighters, and a bomber. Then if he rolls two for two, I lose a fighter for literally nothing. I don't know if it's even worth it. my other options. I attack Finland with these fighters. They land in Corellia. Okay. And then I just abandon abandon Africa. Yeah, alright. That's how we're going to do that. So we're going to abandon Africa. I don't really have the punch to get down here. I think I think he has effectively piled up enough onto West Russia. Let's check. Just make sure. Implausible. Yeah. He hadn't got those two extra UK fighters on there? I might be going for that. It's it's still pretty close. Like, I'm just off of it, of it going to improbable. Improbable? Yeah. Yeah. See, I throw those two guys on. Does it change? No. Just not enough. Throw the fighters on. Unlikely. See how close? I told you I'm close. And favorable. It's, oh, man. Oh, do I want to go all in on this? Do I want to go all in? Hmm. He does have both of his AA guns, so he gets to shoot at me twice. Like, he gets to shoot at me for every one of my planes. Okay, so my alternative would be I go safe, I attack Finland, Archangel 
I, <laughs> I don't normally do this. I, I, I love my planes so much, but it's favorable. I think I have to take this chance here. One. Okay. One is okay. <laughs> One is okay. Three hits is good. Six is good as well. Seven is good as well. Yeah. <laughs> 17! Yes! Woohoo! Uh, three! Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That feels pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna press this one on. We're gonna press our advantage. We're gonna have an intact army sitting on the state the gates of Moscow. Good old Uncle 80 would be proud. Uncle 80 would be so proud. <laughs> You screwed up, man. This is how you were supposed to do it. You lost. You're supposed to win, okay? That's that's the whole secret. 134 to 40. Ooh. That's the sound. That's the sound of your army disappearing right in front of you. Maximum. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, you can take Corellia. I'll leave that uh, undefended for you. Now, we need to make sure I don't get any surprises on me here. The fighters, back to Germany. Bomber, back to wherever you can go. <laughs> um, are you safe in Belarus? Yeah, you're safe there. Okay. Sub, you can just stay in there. So he could throw eight plus, he could throw 16 troops. He could throw 16,000 troops right now. And then abandon the coast. It's either I pile up all on the coast Then I only have, what, three fighters, and he has the potential to attack me with this eight, plus two fighters, plus a bomber, plus a single a transport from the UK onto Germany. It's, it's defending Germany I'm thinking about here. You know what, screw it. Screw it, let's just, let's just abandon the coast. That simplifies. I leave one unit at each. There'll be an infantry there, an infantry there. That way I don't have to worry. There's a 0% chance. Literally 0% chance that he... Uh, that he takes Germany at this point. And that allows me to put all of my units eastbound. Okay. And then I'm actually going to move this unit because I want to bait him. I just, I don't actually want him to come into Europe. I want to be able to just focus on finishing off Russia at this point. So I'm moving him here, hoping him as the Americans or even maybe his British. Anything to not put troops on Europe for one more turn. That's my, that's my train of thought there. I don't care about that infantry. If I leave him here, yeah, he's going to attack, but then they might not transport down. So that's why specifically I'm moving him there. I want him. I'm playing mind games, okay? Mind games. We're playing 7D chess. Pro gamer. You call these pro gamer moves, okay? Pro gamer moves. Uh, now, I'm not going to put the two art the artillery up there because it's a, a sacrifice, essentially. But I do want two units to go up there. Ten into Greta Germany. And we roll on. That was a great turn. Let's do the attack power check. Access 201. Mm. Allies 146 T. I'll see you next time, guys. Okay, back as Japan. What happened? I know at the end of the previous turn, I was terrified about that massive... Um, his air force is eight fighters here, which he didn't use. He definitely didn't use. He tried to hit my sub fail and Germany holds on wow 
Costing him a tank and an infantry. That can't feel very good. Or not after I destroyed his West Russian army. Okay, back to Japan. What do we want? He's abandoned India. And he forgot two planes. So we're definitely going to smoke those boys. Probably two tanks for French Indo-Thailand. Indo and we have three transports to account for. All right, I, I, I think what I purchased last time, the five and one. So one, two, three, four, five and one, leaving us six. Let's make another two tanks. Yes. The world is a better place with more tanks in it. Um. Hmm. He doesn't have these fighters. Could still one, two, three, four. So they could still attack me in India, but I don't think. I think I got the numbers at this point. I have eleven. He could attack me, but he has no artillery. No, we're safe. We're safe. We can go all in. He's not going to be attacking. Me. Now up here. <clears throat> There's not much to be gained. I'm trying to attack this with my tank. Oops, that's a, a whoopsie daisy. Fat fingered that. Unless I just want to be aggressive. Just keep the pressure on him. <laughs> you know, that that's that's a reasonable reason on its own. Just keeping the pressure on. All right, let's let's attack. Let's let's continue to be aggressive. I have another two infantry coming up. We can send maybe this whole stack north. These guys will come south still. I'm placing two tanks, and then of course we're gonna need these boys. Always, whenever you grab your bombers, always just look around to see what what you can hit. Because sometimes you'll be surprised. It'll be a random transport. You're like, ooh. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Do I want my bomber up there to help? One, two. Hold on, where are we? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's no good. Uh, my man down here. Let's disengage. So we can move him off after. And I think that's everything. Because a fighter can't reach. Okay. As, as aggressive as I can make that, basically. Easy. We didn't even need to bring the rest of the boys. My infantry got it. Okay. Let them just get one. Hey, perfect, perfect. That's awesome. That's the best you're going to hope for, attacking two fighters. So 20 to 3. Boom. Up here to Volodya. Volodya. What do you got, USSR? Don't hit! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! Now he can hit. Hey, it's even better he didn't. That is definitely putting the squeeze under Russia. USSR is feeling that squeeze big time. Mm -hmm. Get you right here. You as well. Move the navy off. Hmm. Pull you back to here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do I want a little bit of air force in the north? I don't want to be in range of those eight, though. <laughs> Whatever I do, I don't want to be in range of them. No, let's let's consolidate the same way he is. Have one big chonky air force. We can go up to here, and then our navy can go. I guess same spot. Yeah, same spot's fine. Or do I want to um, jump? Yo, know, you know, I definitely changed my mind. Definitely changed my mind. Definitely, 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 definitely. If you were if you were shaking your hand at the screen, I, I appreciate you because I felt you. I felt you through the screen. This is the way we want to go. This is the way. 
because we can hopscotch across into Africa. Starts taking those IPCs right away. I don't have to fight my way through there. Though I'm happy to do so. I just I, I make it so I don't have to. And then final step. Let's grab the boys. Do, 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 do. And every turn they'll be throwing six six of those units every single turn for the rest of the game. That is a thing. Let's zoom out. Make sure we're not forgetting anything. That was a solid round. I, I think we're well on our way to a victory here. Check that attack power. Yeah, we're passing 50 up on him. He lost 27 last turn. Oof. I'll see you back as Germany. It is time for some German gameplay, boys. How are we looking today? Look at that beautiful army sitting on the, the edge of Moscow. Wahaha. <laughs> a little bit of alt history for you guys. Uh, he's got stacks building in the north. We have no navy. We have an intact air force. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we need anything but just piles and piles of ground troops. I'm not going to try to... I'm not going to even attempt to take... Um, to attack his navy. Africa's been abandoned. Yep. So be like... Eleven, nine, and two. Right, four more tanks coming there. Or I do like that. Nine and three. Give me twelve total units. It's a little more punch to uh, to grind them down with. No, no, we'll go with the tanks. Tanks are fine. Tanks are great. Tanks are more than just fine. Tanks are great. Now, we just check. It's We only have seven lights to go against here. It's just not the numbers. I can see right away he has 18 lights. Plus eight planes. No. Zero percent chance of that happening. So the question comes, can I hold the Caucasus? It's 7, 10, 11 lights. Plus all my tanks? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely hold the Caucasus. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to hit Archangel. So I leave Archangel for Japan. Japan does have a bomber, but I don't know what UK is going to do yet. And I just noticed this RB down here. UK, oh, with these, yeah, that's a death trap. That's a death trap. Sneaky, sneaky UK. Oh, man, those eight fighters and those eight infantry would just, he might not even take me, but he would do so much damage that then Russia could finish off that. I don't know, maybe I would win it, but dude, I'd rather have a lot more, a lot more to fight that. Hmm. So then it gets revised to... No, I can still hold West Russia. I can still hold West Russia. So then that that's our game plan. We, we're going to stick one forward. Archangel, and then two up into Corellia. Our fighters can reach Corellia. No problemo. Bomber hits Archangel. And uh, easy peasy. Nice, simple round. Not too much to stress about. We're, we're slowly entering that phase where Germany starts cocooning up a little bit. Like, oh no, everyone's attacking from all directions. Didn't even need my bomber. My infantry got this covered. All right, it's a wash. That's okay, though, because that leaves it open for Japan just to march a troop in. Yeah, one of those infantry just steps on in. Perfect. With all the fighters, should be pretty, pretty. There we go. Rudimentary. And no hits against us. That's good. It makes him go in with a little bit more as he takes it back. Finally, we're going to... I don't know about stacking up on the coast. I don't have the numbers of infantry to do that, to be honest. I just don't have the numbers to stack up like that, like I want to. 
Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so Germany has to be safe. Safe and sound. Maybe three and two. guys down here makes the most sense to me uh tanks forward absolutely let's go let's go to ukraine and i am making nine more infantry he can hit me with quite a bit he can hit me with 16 troops from the u.s <laughs> Like I, I don't I don't even have a huge huge pile there. I don't want to take off more than ten. For sure. So we'll put like four up there. So we've already taken five, and then we'll take five more. Can I move them all? No, he can do 16. That's so many. <laughs> That's so friggin' many. Even with my uh, three planes there. We'll do one more. I gotta get the pressure forward to, to Russia. And I'm not gonna be making units in the Caucasus. He's, he's just gonna take that right back. 100%. Tanks, infantry, bonus boy down in Natalia. Solid turn. There, there wasn't a lot of risk to take so it wasn't like when, when, when you have a no risk turn it's like yeah whatever it was i will see you back for japan finally let's do a attack power check it shows we're grinding them down it's because russia has no attack power left they're just they're just gonna cocoon up it's how effectively can he use these i'm really glad i saw that trap that would have shredded my german army and maybe not game over but it would put him right back in this game as opposed to right now. I just need to not make any screw-ups and I should win. I'll see you as Japan. And back in for some access play. Forgive me if I'm slightly quieter. My children are asleep in the other room. So I need to be slightly uh, muted. But I will do my best to rock this out. What happened with UK, my friends? Algeria, Caucasus, no units lost. UK, destroyed two, lost one, and finally destroyed a tank and infantry with no units lost. Okay. It happens. That's un You don't want to see that, but that happens. So, what do we do to press our advantage? Definitely. So, we'll go one, Two, three in India, one, two in French Indochina, and we still have three transports to accommodate. Yeah. So one, two, three, one, two, three, easy. Tasty pie, my friends, tasty pie. Okay. We don't want this tank taking off inland here. So we definitely want to hit that tank back. Keep exchanging with this guy here. Maybe even send two that way. Is he setting me up? Is he setting me up to move to Persia to hit me with 8, 9, 10, 6, 18? Hmm. Where I can only place 10 there right now. Alright, I'll send the 2 forward. So if he's going to attack me, he'll have to actually come with some force. He can't just send whatever... Jump down here, start taking Africa. Okay, so this bomber can reach up here, no problem. Easy peasy. You can go north, you can go north. 
And then we have some fighters here. Uh, I land them up here in Sheshwan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where they're going. So we'll send all three there. This infantry survives. Yeah, I think that infantry is going to live. He's not moving forward because he knows I'll smoke him. And uh, that's the turn. No big risks. But we are getting into Africa now. Madagascar. All right, hello, dog. Do your job, bomber. I brought you here to get your hits. Thank you. Oh, wow, really dark. <laughs> and a one for one, or two for one. Six IPC for three. You take those every day. Uh, we have three fighters on this one. This should be a pretty darn easy one. There we go. Beautiful. That's what you're here for, boys. That's what you're here for. Losses. Okay. Yeah, this is a death trap up here. I don't I don't want to go there. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to go there. Oopsies. That bomber. Oh, I thought he could move two spots after. Oh, that's an exposed. Oh, I just sacrificed my bomber for no reason. Oh, I gotta count. <laughs> I gotta spend the time to count that out better. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Okay, let's send another two up to the north. And you boys come over. And next turn we'll be able to step forward. We'll have enough power to step forward. It's just right now we got to check step a little bit. That bomber could potentially get down here. Clicky click. Clicky click. You can come back here. And finally, transports. Don't forget your transports, because then you're down a whole bunch of units on the mainland. Boom. And we're going to go everyone into unit again. Because they could just filter on north if they need to be through Sain King and Szechuan. So I don't have to move them off. You guys stay still. Alright, that's an okay turn. That was an okay turn. I didn't have options to take to make big moves there. Boom. Let's go. Two. And finally. Six in Japan. That's the turn. That's the quiet turn. <laughs> Where I forgot to turn on the lights. Uh, how is our attack power? 240 to 168. It doesn't look that skewed on the map. Is it really that? I guess because Russia has no attack power left. And and my attack power is intact from both Japan and Germany. With the exception of my bomber I'm about to throw away like a doofus. Alright, I'll see you back for Germany. And back again for some Axis gameplay. Germany, what happened? What have they done to you, Germany? What have they done to you? USSR is just shelling up. Not, not, not a bad strategy. Not a bad strategy. The, the fall in a ball on the ground. <laughs> Cover your face and your eyes. Yeah. USA attack Kazakhstan and the UK. Karelia, Volodya, Caucasus. Okay, okay. We understand. So no big changes. We're kind of shelling up too. Like, you may have noticed we're kind of surrounded and the U.S. has completely abandoned the uh, the Japanese theater of war. So it's all eyes on Germany. Much like our timeline, of course. Wow, he's got a lot of troops up there. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Hmm. What is the play here? I don't think I have the punch to to attack north into Karelia. I might have to start really shelling up a bit myself here. 
We have 13 slots. I could max out. I think that's my play. Because I, I need numbers. I need masses of numbers. I, I think the, the opportunity to punch into Russia is gone. I'm not going to win this game as Germany. I need to start dominating as Japan and hold on as Germany. That's the key to winning this right now. That's what we're going to do. Okay. I mean, I could have done two tanks and had uh, one less unit by, but no, I'm, I'm okay with this. Okay. I could go all into the Caucasus and hold that. He's going to punch down hard is the problem. Let's just see. Let's just glance at what this even looks like, okay? I'm kind of curious. Does he have an AA gun? He does not have an AA gun. That's good for me. <laughs> I do have a lot of punch here now that I'm looking at this. Like, I have a lot of punch. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> um, yeah. And these tanks? Well, then, of course. Get in there, boys. This seems a little excessive. It's almost mean at this point. <laughs> 24 heavies. Now, I actually don't have to follow all the way through with this. I could just do a round, massive damage, and then re retreat back to West Russia, still holding on to this so he can't punch through. It's not a bad idea. I think this is my play. The only other option would be dividing it up and going south trying to take the Caucasus as well. Don't love that he has that AA gun there. Um, I could divert two units and one tank south. Try to take out those two. Let's do that. Okay, this is my play. This is my play. I feel good about this. Very aggressive. <laughs> true true to form uh, so far this campaign. <laughs> this game, this match, match, what we call this? Campaign, match, adventure. Boys, big hit, big hits. Four is okay. What was that, 13? Okay. So 18 total. Did I one round it? I one round it. Six and seven, pretty good. Pretty good numbers for him. But his army's gone. Now the question, did I just leave my army a bit exposed? I don't know. 17 and 7. And he can't directly deploy. So all he's going to be able to hit is 4 or 2. No, he could also use these transports. Come into here. So you could throw 8 lights. Then plus whatever else he has. Alright. <laughs> I guess I should have accounted that I was going to one-round him. <laughs> that was a little over the top, but I threw at him. Hit. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. And we will uh, definitely press on, finish this off. These guys are obviously exposed, but sacrifices must be made. And we got an AA gun out of the theater, so it makes it a little easier. Japan's a little more secure. Well, will he use his six? Like if I was Japan, I'd probably still send these six here or two with all these fighters. I mean, there's still he still has options at play, but that was we're gonna call that success. You can come here. It might be wise to keep as many in reserve as possible. Not, be, not it might be. It is definitely wise to keep as many in reserve as possible. Let's go ahead and stick. Four here. 
And he doesn't have a huge punch that could actually hit Germany. So I really can move the entirety of my army on. Especially if I land all my fighters down there. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we'll send another one there. Eight that way. Um, how many fighters we have here? Two, four, six. Are these all my fighters? No, there's five. Okay, five is all my fighters. We'll send three back to Germany. Two to White Russia. Bomber back to Germany. <laughs> you can see I'm a little nervous. I'm a little apprehensive. But I, I think this is the play. Yeah, I feel I feel fairly solid about this. Don't take Karelia. I don't want to come back in and see Karelia gone. That'll just break my heart. Let's end phase. Oop -a -doo. Tanky tank. Artillery. Infantry. Happy three to go. Yeah, I mean... Maybe Germany will end up getting into Russia. Those 17 tanks are deadly. If I still have 17 next turn, we'll, uh, we'll have to reassess. Though he, he's going to definitely take the Caucasus back. Yes, we have some Japan to play, boys. Victory is near. Take one more victory city and hold it until the end and we win. Well, it's a little easier said than done. Ooh, I guess there's Hawaii. Yeah, why is the uh, the easy play? But um, I don't know how long I'll hold on to Corellia. <laughs> these are these are tall orders, right? These are tall orders. Let's just focus on continuing to win, doing better and better, progressively better and better. That's what we want. All right, let's check out UK. What did you do, friend? You attacked Persia, destroyed two infantry, lost one. And West Russia lost one infantry, or destroyed one infantry. Okay. Risk the tank. Too bad I couldn't take out the tank. Now, what are we looking to do? India. We have a fleet down here. He has no fleet that risks, that's a threat to it. So we'll just continue to South Africa there. That's a no-brainer. You can see he's coming down to deal with that. Man, that those eight fighters is a threat to this fleet. <laughs> like, a legitimate threat. Now, my my boat's being here. He's one, uh, one, two, three, four. He can't land anywhere. One, two, three, four. He can't land. So, here we are safe to drop off troops. And then if he came down here, it would just be a matter of coming... One, two, three. He has nowhere to land again. So we could literally move right here. Okay, so it's a threat. I just have to be mindful of it. We have three transports. And I get, want to get one of those down into Australia. Or to Hawaii, I guess, makes the most sense. Okay. I'm going to go a nice, safe one, two, three for India. One, two for French Indochina. Now, one of these is going to be moving south. Meaning, I have an extra two here already. And then next turn, I only have two boats that'll be, be transporting troops. So I only need to buy one, two. And that's all of my troop movement for next turn cover. Now, I don't have any fighters for this. So getting a fighter for that. Let's make one of the infantry in India into a tank. I like that. We'll save the four. Okay. Now, I have effectively taken away his counterpunch here. I can very safely move into Persia. That's all self-contained. Those three tanks should be able to handle it. I don't need to, to, to divert fighters that way. Boys, let's go. South Africa to the wall. Ooh, do I want to be potentially a sneaky boy? I do want to potentially be a sneaky boy. So instead of deploying from C Zone 28, we're going to deploy from 27. Potentially jumping up to Brazil after. 
still giving me the same option to retreat to 29 to safety. So I'm, I'm just as safe, I think. <laughs> That's the theory. That's my working theory, okay? Now... How aggressive can I... I guess I'm, I'm somewhat limited. I can't attack both of these. But I could do like a 1v1 Galodia. And a Bomber. And these boys could go like 1, 2... I know I'm kind of sacrificing uh, an artillery going up there that he's probably going to hit it back. But I do need to bleed USSR dry on behalf of Germany to make things a bit easier for him. That's the thought there. Could actually go eight, ten units to Kazakhstan. Do you think Russia would go all in? He'd have to send that whole thing, and it'd be risky for him. Ooh, man, I kind of like that. And my tanks. Yes, yes, we're doing that. Okay. Boom, boom. Let's go. That's ten. Now we got twelve of Russia. I invite. I pray that you take that risk ussr i pray pray and pray and pray all right you can't reach anywhere you guys are good the fighters let's let's check first now i'm coming south so there's nothing and i can't reach there this turn his sub just runs away and i'm gonna want one of these fighters to fly over here and i can use the other two in send one here because he can come back and, and land in Szechuan still, no problem. And I suppose another one another one over to Persia. Okay. I feel good about that. That's a solid turn. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even done my rolls yet. I already, I'm already telling you it's a solid turn. Let's see the rolls first. Persia. Okay, we don't expect the hits from the lights. They've already taken care of it. Well done. Don't get two. It gets two. <laughs> well, there's still not a counter punch that's going to affect it. You just don't want to lose two units, right? It's six IPCs. I'd rather have those six IPCs here, next to my heart. Now, these are our closer battles. Really easy to lose a one infantry, one bomber, but the infantry does it. They both come through. We hit it. Perfect. So it's that much more annoying for him to take back. And right on his doorstep. Just doesn't feel good having the enemy right on your capital like that. Ooh, should be sure bet. Very good. So far so good. No hits. And yeah, these... The, okay, I remember why I said this was a good turn. These are all sure bets. Or more or less sure bets. And the ones that aren't sure bets weren't close enough that they matter. It's not like, oh, if I lose this game over. No, no, no. It's just if I lose it, less pressure on them, you know. Ba bam. No, it's lost. Zero. Ha ha ha. Look at that map. Beautiful gray. Is it blue or gray? I call it kind of gray and orange, but I guess it is blue and orange, but whatever. <laughs> How did we say we wanted to do this? I want to bring one artillery. And then you're going to come down to... Are we in any threat from over here? No. So we'll come down to Borneo. We'll drop you off. Aircraft carrier comes down. Destroyer comes down. The sub could still try to move forward, but he can't reach my transports. And if he did move forward... I can still reach him. I could hit him in Okinawa. I could hit him in Carolines, Carolines, and I could also hit him in C Zone 60. So we're okay there. Um, what else? We have? These three got to move forward, of course. Uh, I said I wanted one of these guys to come down onto the carrier. 
I don't know, maybe I shouldn't move my fighting ships that way. Maybe I should push my fighting ships forward. Yeah, as I'm saying this, it's sounding better. Because my transport's not at risk. My transport is not at risk. So if I do something like this, this, this. Now I got pressure on his subs. He doesn't even have the option to come forward. I'll just destroy him. My transport's still safe down here. Nothing can hit him from either direction. Yeah, yeah. I've convinced myself. A good idea is a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get... I don't know. One and one? One and one seems perfect to me. You'll land there. You come down where it's safe. And Sheshwan, you as well. Nice and safe. Safety in numbers, boys. And then finally, we don't want to forget our boys on the island. Down to Yunnan again. Nice and safe and sound. I think we're 100%. That is very good. Let's take attack power. Yes. <laughs> keep creeping on up. I don't need to take any big, big chances. I just got to keep pushing forward. And we're still, fingers crossed, Germany doesn't get shellacked. Those tanks, those 17 tanks are very valuable. They're near and dear to my heart. All right, so we're going one tank here. One artillery. One infantry, two tanks. I like the strength of my army, the amount, the raw amount of infantry, or, or, artillery backing up my infantry and tanks. It's lovely. And one more fighter that'll jump onto that aircraft carrier. We're in position. There's nothing else I can do. I will see you back at Jeremy. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. We're, we're definitely approaching the end. Let us enter back in as Germany. Victory is near. We know. We know. We feel it. All right. He didn't. He didn't try to roll any dice. I don't think he really had the option to. He would have lost. He would have lost, and he knew it. So safe bet. I'm not gonna throw another wave at that. I just don't have the lights to soak up the losses. But again, I, I think we just carry on with what's working and piles of infantry, a tank. More piles of infantry. I have lots of artillery. I have a fair amount of artillery. I could have more, of course, but at this point, I just gotta let Japan chip away. We're, we have this win. This one's in the bag. I just can't screw up. Matter of fact, that's it. I just can't screw up and I win at that point. That's where we're at. And it's hard to screw up with 12 infantry and a tank. You took the Caucasus back. I don't really have a good clean punch to there. Japan will take that from him. So I want to move back to West Russia with my big stack. I think that's the play. That is the play. And we'll we'll keep uh, trading with uh, with Russia for Archangel. It's okay. And even if we lose our infantry, it allows Japan just to walk in unopposed. No problem. Artillery, infantry, more arty. All of the boys want to play. Of course, the main course, 17 tanks. Random destroyer. What do, you, what do you have your destroyer here for? You just want me to attack it? Yes. <laughs> What's the deal? Why do you have why are you here? Why are you, if I attack him and kill him, he can't actually counterattack me. He doesn't have a destroyer in range. So I am I am gonna attack that destroyer. Yeah, we have no other battles. I actually don't really need my air force. Yeah, these guys can land back in Belarusia. So we're going to use you. All in on the Destroyer. As long as he misses that first round, that opening salvo. That should be easy. I, I, a little, a little, a little, a little. Easy for you to say. An easy eight IPCs. Right, one round at him. And now we leave it wide open for Japan to march in next. See, we're working together. We're a team. Best buds. Easy one rounder. Ah, he gets his hit. Ah, it's a tank. <laughs> it's a tank. It's not an infantry. Doesn't hurt as much when he gets his uh, 
His poverty hit. And it's all on him missing. I should get a hit. Yeah, I got the hit. Only one, though. Miss, miss. Ah, uh, you got it. Still six to eight. I don't know if that's what he was trying to get me to do. It seemed like an odd placement. It worked. If that's what he was trying to get me to do, I, I attacked it. Like, it worked. Hmm. Now you have five down here with no heavies to support. So presumably, he's unlikely to attack even six. He's unlikely to attack. So we'll do that. We'll put six. Two north. You come north, you guys. Let's head over. Tank, of course, coming forward. All the fighters. The bomber. The bomber. Uh, Bella. Ooh, I could actually land these fighters down here. Oh, I guarantees he doesn't attack. I like that. I like that even better. And he has very... What could he attack Germany? You always got to check. If he took... He could take 10 units to Germany right now. I have three fighters landing here. And a bomber. Two anti-aircraft. And I can make 10 units. One of those being a tank. And I moved three up from down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. We, we can move 100% forward. We are moving 100% forward. Correction. Because I just moved three up from Italy. So that's that gives me numbers for sure. Very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Okay, tank. Infantry in Corellia. So it's not a, a gimme for him. And then another one down in Italy. I am feeling very secure on this. Attack power, 270 to 178. I'll see you back as Japan, boys. It's time again for some more Japan. Empire of Japan gameplay. What happened? We have the UK. Purchased four infantry, a fighter, a destroyer. Morocco, undefended. Corellia. Destroyed two infantry, lost one. And then he moved a bunch in there. So he's got seven up in there. And he's preparing for a counterattack. He's, he's not enjoyed how I've pummeled him in the past, so he's, he's trying his best to uh, to guard against that. We'll see what we can do to wreck his day. Once we get back there is Germany. Look at this, 55 IPC. That's lovely. That is lovely. So we carry on our attack to Australia. He's starting to build a little navy again. Okay, noted. And he did get enough here. Battleship, cruiser, two fighters. Yeah, I would. Ooh, I got two, two battleships, one destroyer. He's got a cruiser, battleship, two destroyers, and no, nothing else. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's an interesting. Do I risk that? Two battleships, a destroyer. I mean, technically, I have the advantage. He has one extra unit, but I get the extra hit. And I'm rolling fours. It's so even. That is so even. No, but the bomber. The bomber tips it in his favor. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bomber, t the bomber makes that a no-go. I think he's got nine fighters out here. Deadly boy, deadly. I could attack those fighters, but then my my navy's at risk. Okay, so I just got to pull back with this navy. It is what it is. It's not worth risking it. I am grinding the boys down through the land like I don't need to risk it all for one big go for one big blah. Uh, he didn't move that out of sight does this mean he was trying to bait me 
hit me with three lights and one plane. And his bomber, which is way over here, wouldn't reach. Those planes wouldn't get in on it. And I could get two fighters, so four, four, two, two, one. And he would be rolling three, two, two, two. I think that's advantage me, to be honest, as long as I don't lose my sub on the attack. And the fighter can go one, two, three, four, and we can land. Oh, this is big. This is big. Okay, let's go two and one. My two tanks for French Indochina. I need four units to move forward. So one, two, three, four. Leaving me 20 to spend. It's tempting to just get two fighters, really. They're so useful. Having a big pile of fighters to just rip the enemy apart with. But I also could use Navy, too. Like, he is attempting to counter me right now. If we were to go Navy, we'd go one, two, three. And just lock down. You know what? I'm going to go two fighters. I'm going to go two fighters. Because I can, I can throw down another aircraft carrier in Navy. So it, it can still be used for the, for the Navy. Do, 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 do. All in, boys. <laughs> Load you up. Now, there's nothing that can reach me, but there's no real advantage that I... Oh, no. If I come to Eastern... No, it doesn't matter which of the two. I can reach New Zealand from either of these. But I could grab another unit from the Solomon. Okay, okay, I've convinced myself. We're going to go to Eastern Australia. Mm -hmm, down here. He doesn't have any land units near me. I mean, he can come at me with his planes if he really wants. I'm okay with this. And then finally, Archangel will take you. Take your one on nothings. You got to take those. And do we pile into the Caucasus so I can start pumping on another four per turn? I feel that I have the numbers for the Caucasus here. What do I... Okay, so if, I, if he has three down there, one, two, three, four, he can't land. Misplaced. Misplaced those nine he did. We'll talk like Yoda. So let's go one, two, and then three. And one tank. That should be enough that he's not going to try. Or if he does, it's it's not a good fight for him. He can try. <laughs> if he wants to give you good odds, go for it, man. Go for it. All day, every day. But the rest of the boys, they come flooding in. I love those numbers. 22. Beautiful. Taste. Mwah. Taste treats. Uh, nothing else is going to make it out that way. These tanks aren't making it. We've already done our attack here. You guys are going to get moved across. And it's like my bomber. My bomber and my uh, my fighters. Well, there's no one else to attack, so we'll just... No kill like overkill upon the Caucasus. Make sure there's no way in hell we're not one-rounding this one. This is the one that kind of matters the most. Don't want to lose a sub here. Because then that map actually puts this navy at risk. Okay, good. The other one's a sure bet. Yeah, he might take a couple units out, but it's it's a sure bet. I guess he has five, so it would suck if he got like four or five out of five. Even three, I'm cool. That's how low I'm setting my bar, you know. I'm not trying to shoot for the moon. Alright, we one rounded him, so don't have to worry about any nonsense there. Two. Perfect. 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 No problem. That pretty much locks in. We will be able to hold that. And if he wants to throw everything at it, you watch what I do with Germany right after. You watch. You wait and see. Let's 
go two, one, and hmm. you know, I'll leave two and two because it divides up his his focus and his attention. He doesn't have any planes or anything to uh, to get back to safety, so he has to choose where he where he wants to focus that attack. Two, let's go up to Szechuan. Szechuan, you protect my planes because you do it so well. Uh, oop, no, no, no. Um, no, there's no bombers around. You're safe in India. You can still reach Russia. And I can potentially hit over here. Okay, okay, India's fine. I, let's not overthink this. Uh, I do want to fall back... One, two, three. He couldn't hit me here anyways, but... Like, I'm not doing anything up here. Where if I fall far enough... Whoa, one, two, three, four. Bomber can't reach me. I fall, I fall far enough... I gotta finish my thought, eh? <laughs> I can't do two things at once, apparently. I can't finish a thought and, and do my move. No, but if I fall back far enough, I have the potential to grab boys and then throw them in with my battleships and my fighters hitting. So my, my punch can be that much... More of a punch, you know? Hit him with that much more force. And then finally, we don't want to forget the boyos. They would be so lonely left on the island. They want to come fight with their friends. Leave Valodia empty. What do I do? No, no, no. I'll divide it up even more. And we have 100%. Next turn, we'll take both of those. That's why I did that there. I can grab artillery, Solomon's. New Zealand, boom, and then the um, the infantry just steps to Western Australia, and I'll just leave him there. I'll I'll take the from here. I'll go up to Hawaii next. It saves me a turn, so I'll get those three that much one turn quicker. Five D chess, boys. Five D chess. And the one and two two tanks down here. It's a fairly standard build for me at this point, and it's working. So why change it? Fighters will flood on in. We're going to wreck their day. And I finally will get some a little bit of a fighter core building up on the inland here. Which will be nice for uh, defending Caucasus. The end is in sight, guys. We got this. Going back in as Germany. Nice quick turn. He is online when I am. You can see he is green up top. Uh, so it would be the U.S. and Russia. Russia just purchased and continues to huddle up. In the U.S., no combat either. Very uneventful. Good sign for me. When I have all the initiative, that is definitely a good sign for me. <laughs> or he's setting me up to fall. <laughs> okay, now we're pretty good. He definitely piled up in Corellia. But no AA gun. No AA gun. I don't think I won round that if I go all in. <laughs> but I didn't think though the previous time I'd one round him so easily, but uh do, do, do. Now we need lots and lots of units, mainly infantry and artillery. Go twelve total units. Or eleven. Eleven's okay. I like getting that tank rolling up front every turn. And finally, I don't got to worry about the Caucasus. Now, I don't... Yeah, did he make a mistake by landing those there? <laughs> I didn't even really think about that. Do I even need to waste my time attacking Corelli? I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with this afterwards. But if I can finish off the... Uh... And he doesn't have an anti-aircraft in Russia either. Okay, first, let's see how we look before we add the planes. Unlikely? <laughs> unlikely is not unlikely. Or, correction, unlikely is not... Um... Uh, what's it called? Implausible. Implausible. That's the word I'm looking for. And it's strong just by adding three planes. Oh, and we have another tank. They don't want to reach. Okay. Alright, let's go. Can always fall back after the first round if it goes horrible. But <clears throat> it's saying it's strong, man. Hey, that's pretty good. 10, 15, 16 total. Nice, nice grind into them. 
As long as they don't hit insane on these twos. With eight? No, that's not insane. That's good, but that's not insane. Let's go finish him off. Boom. 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 Did that get through them? Nope, there's still planes. There's still planes. All right, oof, they're into my tanks. They're into my tanks, but this is A-OK. -okay. They're done. Russia is mine. You gonna take two more tanks? One more? Okay. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, Russia. <laughs> there was losses both sides. That was pretty even. He should feel he should feel good about how his soldiers fought. I mean, they lost, but they fought bravely. So we know they're coming down towards Germany. He could only transport ten on to Germany proper. I just got to make sure I don't screw up at this point. <laughs> We've got him on the ropes. We just can't muck up. We're going to go... He could hit me with 12, 13, and 2. So it'll be 15, where I could put 11, 17. I could put quite a bit of troops into Belarusia. And land my planes. Let's see what this looks like. I just need one in, one, one in West Russia. Easy for you to say. And then everyone up to Belarusia. White Russia. Here we go. Boom. The planes can go... The bomber, I would like to go to the Caucasus where it's safe. safe safety in the Caucasus. Is Ukraine, he can get plucked by those two fighters. I don't know. I guess White Russia is safe. It's just like I'm putting a prize on it. I'll drop this tank up here. Now, again, he can only put 10 onto Berlin. So I could always put, like, another... I don't know, I got 20 units going there and 7 on... I don't think he has a chance, even with combined both these forces. We'll go one more fighter. And then two. Uh, you're coming north. Poland. Maybe just two. Gotta make sure Germany cannot fall. Of course, tank, artillery, full infantry, and extra buddy. Feels good, man. Feels good. You still playing? You gonna rage quit? <laughs> this this would be the point where, yeah, there there's no path to victory. I don't think he has to go all in. So his let's say let's say he has he's gonna go all in. His path to victory, it's this army, it's this army or Germany. Those are his only. He has nothing to threaten. These guys, nothing to threaten Japan with. I mean, I know I haven't won. I don't have all the victory cities yet, but I'm just gonna grind them. I'm gonna take Karelia once my tanks get back over here. So it's, it's here or Germany. He can only get 10 and 14 onto Germany. That might actually be his best bet. With one fighter, he just doesn't have the fighter backup. These nine can't reach. His nine are out of position. With that nine up here in UK? No, they still... They would have to be in Finland. This is where he would have a chance at Germany. If he had his nine fighters here. Because then these boys could be backed up. The four units could be backed up with ten total fighters. He, he wouldn't take it, but he'd do the damage. Of course, I would have adjusted differently. I will see you back as Japan if he doesn't rage quit, boys. Victory is near. Take one more city and hold it. You mean like... Honolulu. <laughs> Take one more city and hold it, and victory is ours. Wait a minute. Am I about to win? He does have a transport. He has a chance. Not if I can take out that. I I, I might be able to win right here. Yeah, why, why drag it out anymore, boys? We're going for the win. We're going for the dubs. Okay, well, I still got to purchase as if as if this war is going to be ongoing. I mean, we're good, but we're still going to buy things. So one, two, three, four in the Caucasus. One, two, three for India. One, two, French Indochina. These will focus north. So I actually don't need to buy any for there. 
And then we go like... Um, I don't know, a battleship, sure. Alright. So we take Australia. We strap you on here. Grab you from the Solomons. Into Honolulu we go. Now. Ha ha ha. We attack. If he has no transport, it doesn't matter if he takes them out. I don't care what these guys do. And do we have anything else? You can get there? Where would you land? One... Oh, because these guys can go one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, then we're like assured victory. <laughs> yes, we got the dub, boys. We got the dub. Let's get in as much of this beautiful orange as we can. We're not satisfied with just winning. We're going to smash him right to the very end. So he knows how badly he really lost. Yes, let the orange spread across the lands. I can't take you an Archangel. I don't have that kind of a punch, but this is fine. Bomber. Really, none of this matters. This is the only thing that matters. This is the dub. Well, let me let me ensure that. Yeah, he can't. No, no, he can take France. My mistake. By mistake, he can take France. Okay, okay, all right. So we're gonna keep playing. <laughs> this may be the dub. This may be the dub, guys. <laughs> you guys need to do your part. You can't lose. <laughs> I didn't even really think about that. Sending another fighter here would have been a good idea. Shoot, this is not the plan. This is not how I get a dub. I can't even sacrifice planes now. And he just keeps missing. Hey! <laughs> we got it. All right. They just wanted to make it dramatic as possible. Give me a couple gray hairs while we're at it. Yeah, it's France is my weak point. But they can't reach there. But up here, he can easily get to France. From this navy, as long as he's paying attention, he'll he'll notice that I have the uh, that I have the amount of victory cities. Boom! Fighters, what are you guys doing? Why are you even here? Boom! There we go. Could have left the fighters at home. They didn't do anything. And that's once up. Perfect. The only thing that can't defend against the air. It's the one thing I don't mind losing. And the cheapest. Does he even bother invading France or does he rage quit? There's no path to victory for him. Not, but not by invading France at least. You gotta do more than just that. Oh, and three hits. Well done. Doing your damage. Oh, I love that map. Look at that beautiful orange across the lands. So we need to get two of you guys to... I don't know. Yajima's fine. Those two stay on there. <clears throat> You're coming up north. We're going to transport you across to Alaska next. Providing this, uh, this game keeps going. <laughs> And this is almost like a show of strength. This is like, look, you you think that you're still in this? You're not. The time is now for you to quit. That is what this is. This is a show of strength. I'm moving all the troopies forward. Let's get you up to the Caucasus. You, wherever you can land. Actually, you were from the aircraft carrier. Might as well put you back there, friend. This might be all for nothing. <laughs> and that is turn. It could be coming back with a rage quit. I'm only a hundred up on him. It seems like I should be way more. He has a lot of attack power. Just wasted i guess i've i've managed to stifle him 
Well, and he's done reductions to me. He has done damage to me. Boom. Ooh, I should look after I deploy all these guys. Yes, 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 of course. Let's go one and three. And finally, our battleship. Enter. Now we want to watch. Much better, much better. Oh, 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 oh. I will see you back as Germany, maybe. Yes, victory is near. He he did go for the easy. See, he had two options. He either goes all in and try to take Germany, very unlikely to happen, or he keeps the game going with France. He chose to keep the game going. 267 to 163. We got this, boys. All right, Germany. Lots more production. Um, what do we have? We have five fighters. So let's get one fighter and then tank, artillery, and the rest infantry. 11, 1, 1, and 1. Hmm. Our tank core is more, mostly intact here. One. Ah, yeah, he's going to try to take back Russia with this army. But he only has the one infantry. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But I do need to deal with this down here. I just come up and destroy this army. That that might be the play. What does he have coming? He has 10 units with not a lot of air power. His air power is right here. Okay. Let's go. Even if it doesn't work out exactly right, we're, we're doing so well that it, it, we're okay. And he has no AA gun here either. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. Now we have nine units here to deal with. So I'm going to send... What do we have? Six infantry. That's eight. Let's just ensure we get the, the victory. Whatever. Full nine. Plus two fighters. I, of course, would like to pile on here as well. It's not like I just want to pile up on the bottom. We're already strong. Just our numbers of infantry that help us there. What are we showing for down here already? Favorable. Okay. We'll put a tank. We'll put... Another fighter. And then... My bomber and two fighters in order. Alright, let's go. Strong and strong. Worst case, I can fall back from either one of them, and it wouldn't be a uh, game-changing defeat. Four is... Okay. Yeah, heavies. Eight out of 13. Very acceptable. We've basically eaten... I've actually completely eaten up their lights. So we're into the heavies after this. Okay. Is there any reason to retreat, I with this kind of damage. No, because his heavies are intact. He's not going to try to attack this army. Wait, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Easy peasy. Wipe them out. Lemon squeezy, boys. And minimal hits, of course, would be preferred. Yeah, we walk away with 12 lights. Plus our tank core, obviously, intact. Do, do, do. Now we just gotta win this. I mean, take the take the land. That is not just. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Hey, my heavies come through. For me. That's why we brought you boys. Good chunk. Of them. They hit five. Pretty good for them. There we go. We got them. Nothing. Ha! Huh. Nothing. I barely feel it. Tis but a scratch. 
And then you know what we're doing? We're uh, we're piling up on Germany, making sure it's safe and sound. It's the only thing that could wreck our day at this point. As I'm snatching Germany from you. Send one unit to the Baltic states. You're back to Germany. Actually, let's go two to the Baltic states. I don't think... Actually, they, they are in a little bit of threat from the British counterattack. All of these units plus another four. They're a little bit of exposed. But it, here's the Japanese going to come right back for it. So it's... It's all good. No matter what happens here, they're not changing this around for them. Short of them taking Germany. That would be the one exception that would actually change things around. And that's why we got to make sure that doesn't happen. The full load onto Germany and then the rest of the boyos out here onto Russia. Four infantry. That, that locks that down too. All right, I will almost certainly see you back for Japan. I, he's not going to rage quit. He's going to fight me out to the end. In terms of victory cities. Oh, we're there. We're there. He has to take two. Ah, we got him. We got him, guys. We got him. Where could he do? Let's go over this really quickly. He has to go all in on Corellia. And that just brings it to 9 of 9. And then with the U.S., he can take France back. So that's it. If he wants to, to stay in this game, he needs to go all in on Corellia. I'll see you back as Japan. And that is what we call a victory. That was a good game. Start to finish. He, he held on to the end. I, I would have quit slightly earlier, but I wouldn't have just quit. I would have went all in on the attacks earlier than he attempted to. So it's not like I just like early quit when I'm losing. I just realized... Once you're so far behind, you're not going to catch up by playing safe. You got to start taking big risks, and, and and then if it fails, then you then you rage quit. Ugh. But thank you for making it to the end. If you like this content, let me know, like, leave a comment. Uh, I plan on making maybe weekly one or two of these videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.